On last week's show, we introduced you to Catherine Clayton, and you've probably seen me and Mackenzie Lambert on film here before, but on today's video, we'd like to welcome our newest on-camera host to Hot Springs Broadcast Network, Francis Iverson. Hi, I'm Francis Iverson with the Hot Springs Broadcast Network. Today we're going to be taking a look at things in Hot Springs that either used to be here and no longer are, or that have really changed. Right now we are standing in the parking lot of the Park Place Church. This is where the old trolley barn used to be. So at the end of the night, the trolleys would come and uh, be parked here at night, and also the mules. Hot Springs was the first city in Arkansas to have streetcar service. The streetcar service, drawn by mules, started in January 1875. The mule service continued until June 1893 when electric cars took their place. And in 1938, the tracks were removed and gasoline-powered buses were placed in service. So I'm standing here in front of a beautiful piece of property on the corner of Harold and Ashland Streets. And this was the location of the Johnson Floral Company. Around the turn of the century, this is where people would come to pick up their flowers, but also to have flowers delivered to businesses. So as you can see also, it's really neat that the landscape really hasn't changed. It's beautiful and it's essentially as it was before. In Hot Springs, most of us know that there were a lot of gambling establishments in the area, but one that we forget sometimes is one that was called the Tower Club. And the Tower Club was located right behind me. We're at the corner of Gorge Road and Park Avenue. And the Tower Club was called this because it had this unique tower spire. The Tower Club stayed open until the 1960s. But then when the state came in, of course, and raided all of these establishments here in Hot Springs, it closed down. Um, but the building stayed open until the 1990s when um, it finally was demolished. From looking at the picture, we believe that you are looking at Crest Street right off of Park Avenue, which here is Crest Street right now. I'm standing here in front of the new Grateful Head Pizza um, here on the corner of Exchange Street and Mountain Street. In the 1800s, right over here, it was actually called the Hay Hotel, owned by Dr. Carson Hay. Now, Dr. Hay in the hotel, he raised his family, of course, ran the business, and also um, he practiced his medical work. And he did die in the late 1800s, but his son went on to run one of the old Arlington hotels that was located right around the Arlington Park. The Hay Hotel was one of the finest hotels of its kind. It was actually the first hotel here in Hot Springs to have steam heat, so it was very, very popular. It could house about uh, 120 guests who would each pay 10 to $15 per week. Um, so it was a wonderful place to stay. And it was located next door to the offices of Drennan and Drennan, which happened to be the same building that the new Grateful De Dead Head <laughs> the new Grateful Head building is in right now. Oh, no. Thanks for joining us today on the Hot Springs Broadcast Network. Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Francis Iverson and I'll see you in the next video. You are watching the Hot Springs Broadcast Network.